Dick Seaman, racing what? motorist. Oh! Richard Seaman. By Prince, Prince Chula, Chula of Thailand. Uh, hey, wait, I, I should know this. I gotta Come learn on. about Prince Chula of Thailand real quick. Would you yeah. rather be called Dick Seaman or Prince Chula? I don't know, man. Definitely. That's such a what a Chad great name. name. Dick Seaman no. is a Chad yeah. fucking name. Yeah, like, imagine how confident you would be. Not in middle school. Middle school would be fucking terrible. Cause it's yeah. terrible for everyone. But, in, like, by the time you're an adult, imagine how confident you would be. College. By the time you you're, like, 26. College. Oh, yeah, you would rule in college. You would be invited to every party just so everyone, just so people could introduce you to people. Ladies, it's like, me. Dick Seaman. Like, bro. <laughs> like, you would have to show people your ID to prove that that's your real name. Like, all oh, the yeah, girls would fall in Yeah, you could go, like, it's me, bro. Richard. But the ladies can call me Dick or some, something like that. I, I like that he's got the most phallic-looking racing car. As well. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that is All racing cars look really. like that. No, they don't. So, that's, the Prince... se that's the semen mobile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh, prefer the so Dick mobile, honestly. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the Dick mobile oh, is better. Oh shit! Yeah. Hello, welcome to the Dick Semen Chronicles. Hello. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hello. Hi. Falls. It always falls butter side up or down. On the floor. Butter side on the floor is, is the paradigm. Yeah. That, that myth has been busted. It's all random. Yeah, of busted. course. Okay. But like, yeah, it's a figure of speech to mean like, hey, everything in the world is shit. Kill yourself. Really? What? Is that what that means? I don't know. If I, think, I don't know. I might just be mentally ill. <laughs> I think this. I think that's a valid interpretation. Oh, I think whoever thought of that also thought of the spilt milk debacle. Spilt milk debacle. Oh, don't cry oh. over spilt milk. That's just that's just another version of don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Clearly, never. I had will cry milk over my spilled milk, in your good eyes. Sir. Yeah, I bought it with my money. I wanted to drink it. <laughs> what kind of milk are you I supposed cry. to cry over? This is a this is a true story that happened like last week. I got a text message in my group chat with like my close friends and it was, yo, if y'all need any milk, I got you fam. <laughs> and I was like, um, okay. And he just had a surplus of milk because his family had been like taking donations from coronavirus charities, which they really didn't need. <laughs> they took too much milk. Oh, no. so is he bad. selling it or giving it no, away? No, no, he just came over with like two gallons of milk. And I was like, you're assuming my need for milk is much higher than it is. <laughs> the great debate, what comes first, cereal or milk? This will disturb Cereal, you cereal. To just... cereal that's not fight. a great debate. If you put milk in first, you're a heathen, and you the do not deserve to eat that cereal. First, the cereal will get soggy. Well, okay, that, like... that's gonna happen regardless. No, if I keep putting in, <laughs> if you submerge the cereal in liquid, it will get soggy. Do you have like, do you have like two bowls, let's, one let's with cereal, one with milk, speak. and then you like, you like dip it in like a sauce? Is that how you eat your cereal? No. No, no, I have the box of cereal right next to me and I put my hand in and I sprinkle the cereal. Make you put sure your hand in the milk? Goes under the milk. No, 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 she and sprinkles the, the cereal, cereal over the milk. Yeah, so, and I do it sprinkling fresh the milk and crunchy. The cereal. <laughs> I think that putting cereal in milk is fucking disgusting, so neither. What you... I eat it well, I eat I it dry really as well. Cereal. I eat it dry as well for the same reason because they get too soggy because I eat okay. too slow. Yeah, but, like the okay, concept okay. of putting mushy food into my mouth, like that's not meant to be mushy, like since I was a child, is has disgusted yeah. me. But if I were okay. to put milk in my <laughs> cereal, I would put the cereal in first. Yes, okay, I wait, agree wait, with wait, that. Wait, wait. Can you explain to me why you do that? It's could like, it, I don't think it should matter. Logically, you should know how much cereal to milk ratio you want to not need to put one of them first. Well, you have to put what? one of them. Oh wait, do you just put both of them at the same time? That's pretty dope. <laughs> no, 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 but I'm just saying, like, that's pretty like a cartoon. Do either way, you should know how much of the other thing you want. Because a lot of people tell me that they put cereal first because then they know how much milk to put, and that's retarded. Because you should know either way. Like we are all at least twenty, right? Or at least well, eighteen. Here's, like <laughs> here's here's my logic. I always have right? milk left over. So here's my logic. It, the point of putting milk in cereal is because you want the cereal to be milkified, right? You want it yes. to be covered in milk in some capacity, whether it be a bunch or soggy, which is valid. Um, even though I hate it. But whatever like, your milk preferences are, they're valid. The, the, the okay, deal, okay. The, the big deal is 
when you put the cereal in first, that way when you pour milk, the milk is still covering the top portion of the cereal. Uh, have you guys ever had? You guys ever had like protein shakes or any sort of thing where like you put a powder into a liquid and then mix it I to have. create a beverage? Yeah. Uh, so yes. you go MDMA. This is, this is a very heated debate. Do you go powder then water or water then powder? Water then powder. powder. Blender. I don't think it cares. <laughs> I just love how Chancellor is just like it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it does not matter if it's being fucking blended anyway. Like where is the point? Well, if it's in a blender, some people don't like. Well, here's the thing: if you put the powder first and then you put the water, some of the powder will like get into chunks get stuck. and st- yeah, get, get stuck, stuck and not edge. get mixed in. Yeah, yep. like the outside will be mush, and like the part touching the wall of the shaker or blender will be powder still, and it won't be able to assimilate into the beverage. Yep. Okay, but, but like if you're but if you're some drinking might protein like that. powder, just take it. Like. Be a man and, and drink it, you know? Hey, are you yeah, saying eat raw protein powder? Oh my god. <laughs> Not yes. that shit. No, t- yes, <laughs> two lines of protein powder. Just ch- just take just a big snort, old just... spoonful like the cinnamon challenge and just... Just snort that no. shit. Yeah, snort, like, snort a big hefty line of protein powder. I was gonna ask about ramen, because I, I made Hell a yeah. bomb-ass ramen yesterday. I, I, I didn't have pork belly, so I got that thick-ass bacon. And I used that as the pork belly, and then I made the noodles, oh. and then I fried the noodles in the bacon fat oh. to make them a little bit crispy. And I put it back, oh, and I put yeah. green onion and bouillon and and tofu. It was fucking amazing. Careful, oh. weekend warrior is about to orgasm. Calm down. Oh no, he's, <laughs> no, he's, like, he's oh. it's in progress for him. Yeah, it's like, tell me more, daddy. <laughs> Imagine being in a I'm constant ha- state I'm of happy edge. You guys speaking had speaking of orgasms, I I googled Dick Seaman. Dick Seaman, racing what? motorist. Oh! <laughs> Richard Seaman. By Prince, Prince Chula, Chula of Thailand. Hey, right. wait, I, I should know this. I gotta oh. learn about Prince Chula of Thailand real quick. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, imagine how confident you would be. Not in middle school. Middle school would be fucking terrible, because it's yeah. terrible for everyone. But, in, like, by the time you're an adult, imagine how confident you would be. College. By the time you you're, like, 26. College. Oh, yeah, you would rule in college. You would be invited to every party just so everyone, just so people could introduce you to people. I like that he's got the most phallic-looking racing car. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that is my favorite Photoshop. Cars look like really. That. No, they don't. So, that's the Prince... se- that's the semen mobile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh prefer goodness. the dickmobile, honestly. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the dickmobile oh, is better. Oh shit! Yeah. Yo, what? this dude wrote hella books. He did. Yeah. Do they all say dick semen on them? Wheeled at speed, road racing 1936, being an account of one season of B. Bira the Racing Motorist, Dick Seaman. Yeah, this dude was like obsessed with racing. Are there like a novel series of Dick Seaman? Or like the adventures of Dick Seaman? (laughs) The the ladies under the sea? I don't know. (laughs) I would pay money to watch the adventures of Dick Seaman. What's, yeah. wait, what's his wife called? I mean, if there was a movie Mrs. about Demon. Dick Seaman, everyone that saw it would pay money to see the story of Dick Seaman. And anyone who bought that book would pay money to hear the, or read the story of Dick Seaman. I googled <laughs> Dick Seaman, and the second result uh-huh. about him is an article from The Guardian that uh, headlined, How Dick Seaman Became a Nazi Hero. What? what? Oh man, what? do we have to do we have to cancel Dick Seaman now? Guys, I think there's a lot more to the Dick Seaman story. How very, are you very... still milking this? You only lived about <laughs> milking years. the Dick Seaman. Ah! You only, you only lived you to be there. about 26 years there. old. Milk, and we were just talking about milk. Ah, oh, Dick Seaman oh, milk. Man. Oh man, it's not oh, full circle. This, oh, this is gonna be a full separate. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Wait, wait, did you read the first sentence of the article you sent? It starts off with, If anything was guaranteed to leave a troublesome stain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We are having way too much injuries. fun with this. Like, he had his last words, even. Like, he remarked, Oh man, I was going you know, too fast. If, we're, if that's gonna <laughs> be a separate <laughs> thing. Oh. <laughs> I was going too fast. He's a race the car driver. <laughs> the 
It's just entirely my fault. I'm sorry. Honestly, so this slippery. It's too this, fast. Yeah, I was gonna say this article was a completely missed opportunity to fit in a few more innuendos. Yeah, like in your endo. Yeah. Oh. No. Dick what semen in your endo. Like, like here, here. What? I'll re, I'll rewrite it right now. A year earlier, erected on the podium of the Nurburgring, <laughs> you know, Nürburgring. the Swat. Yeah. Nazi bad. Dick semen bad. But Dick Seaman good. So well, if, um, even if he even if he was a Nazi, he only lived to be twenty six. So damn. Wait, he yeah. was a real person. He wasn't a fictional character. Yeah, no, he's, he's a, a real, real person. person. Yeah. I'm in a, I'm in a, all right, guys, I can die now. My my depression has accepted <laughs> that this is this is the moment where I have seen all the things.